Josh Allen. Pressure coming from Jewel. Allen in some trouble. And he'll just shot put this one out of bounds, but no receiver is there. Nobody in the area. It has That's a nick. On first down, Sindelar with protection. Almost intercepted by Jewel. Yeah, there, that's a nice play by Jewel. That's instinct right there. Inside screen, oh, and then Josie Jewel yes. said, you are not catching that. <laughs> ah, that ball. Knows what he's getting into. He knows his face is going right into a backer. No, he didn't hold on to the no. ball. Sorry about that. Yeah, the outlaw Josie Jewel. Second and 10 at the 24. Pressure coming from Jewel, and Jewel with a sack. A big hit and a bigger sack for Josie Jewel. Guy ain't much support. They're not going to beat the secondary. Hand flip in motion. He'll flip it back to Sindelar. Sindelar under pressure from Jewel, and he'll throw it away. In Smart. the area was Mahungu. Yeah. At or beyond the line of scrimmage. Third and 29. Sindelar under pressure, throws it short. Jewel bats it away. Kind of surprised they accepted that penalty because Mahungu, really well done. Knocks on the toss. Nowhere to go, and Jewel there to bring him down. Give a little credit as well to Sam Brinks. Let us down. Barkley, and it's going to be corralled by Josie Jewel. Looking forward to collisions between those two team leaders all night. Very efficient in the red zone so far this young season. But Iowa swarms the backfield. McSorley fights back for just a one-yard loss. Ben Neiman flashed it. So after back-to-back -back penalties in the punt, a difference of 34 yards in home position. Barkley hit hard. They don't give it to him. McSorley's dropped for a two-yard loss, but flying in there was Epinesa, the freshman defensive. Inside of a minute. McSorley doesn't see the pressure. Is hit as he throws, and it's intercepted. Josie Jewell has blockers. Barkley will finally wrestle him down, but Iowa with the takeaway. In about 43 seconds before halftime. Football. He's out here getting the pressure. Here's Josie, who's just going to read the quarterback's eyes. But I think Brinks from behind, as McSorley steps up right there, affects that throw. And that's what makes it easy for Jewell to just be able to come up with that interception. He's Keeper and McSorley dragged down by Jewel for a loss back to the three. Bear is staying home and getting to the outside. Not going after Barkley. Great instincts, great vision on the football, and takes away that outside ankle. It's a shovel pass, and Saquon, no game. Once again, Josie Jewell sniffed it out, and it's fourth down. It's all the years as a head coach, that includes at the professional level, 17 at the collegiate level. Three here in Nebraska, an underneath throw, and a great read by Josie Jewell. Nowhere to go for Ozigbo and Josie Jewell. Guy who's been on winning and knows how to win, and the guy who's a five-star just because it's based on his potential. Back to throw now is Lee. They really need something positive to happen, and a flag comes in. That will be something positive. Josie Jewell for Mike Riley here in Nebraska, but former Nebraska Cornhusker Scott Frost in Central Florida being a target. 
Josie Jewell breaks up the pass and nearly. Katie Spielman also a huge contributor for this pass game. You have to wonder what sort of impact him being out would have. Oh, and this is going to fall into the hands of Josie Jewell. That is a turnover, fumble, interception, whatever it's ruled. Josie Jewell has the ball for Iowa and once it. Sokol in motion. They give it to Sokol and he drops it. Able to get on top. Trying to get into the first half. Lewerke rolling out. Now stepping up, spinning, stays alive. That's as far as he'll go. To London. And he is driven back by Josie Jewell. They've all been close. Scott is met immediately for a loss. Well, there was. That was the all-out blitz that defensive.